present. Hi, I'm Brett Gibbons from Paper Cartridges, and today we're going to shoot the Pritchett International. It's hot out here with very low humidity. This is a torture test for the military muzzle-loading black powder rifle, but I have good expectations. About nine years ago, Colonial Nick on the British Military Forum proposed the International Pritchett Cartridge Match. Since then, the Pritchett International, as it is often called, has become a benchmark for measuring the performance of pattern 1853 rifle muskets using historically correct infield cartridges. The name of the shoot comes from the Pritchett bullet, a smooth-sided rifle musket bullet used with the paper-patched infield cartridge throughout the infield rifle's service life with the British Army. Somewhat ironically, I've never shot the Pritchett International before, even though it's fair to say that the Pritchett cartridge has more or less consumed my life. I have made over 40,000 Pritchett bullets and cartridges through my business. The portrait of Robert Taylor Pritchett hangs on my wall. And I wrote a book on the history and development of the Pritchett bullet and infield cartridge. So this shoot was definitely overdue. All right, so I'm up first. I'm shooting my pattern 1853 infield three band as they're often called. This particular rifle has a custom barrel on it with progressive depth rifling made by Dan Whitaker in West Virginia. And I'm also shooting the latest iteration of the infield cartridge. I'm a big fan of that 55 caliber bullet that was used. This was a battlefield bullet, so to speak. Um, not well known for being a precision target bullet, but we'll see how well she does. This is the service charge of 68 grains of powder. Yeah, not a target load. I have no idea where they're going. Can anyone see? I'm gonna push them in. Oh, I felt I flinched that one. This is round 11, and I'm loading and firing, loading and firing, and so 11 rounds. Now, if we were shooting mini balls, we'd already starting to beat them down, but the weight of the ramrod with this perfected post-1859 cartridge, someone wrote a book about it, I think. felt good. 
too. With this same cartridge, I'm good up to 900 yards. This is probably the first time I've fired at this short a range in a couple years. The sights on this rifle are zero to 200 because I wanted uh, a zero at a longer range. So I am aiming about two feet below the bullseye and I hope I'm in the ballpark. Can you see any holes? You can? High? <laughs> Maybe I'm a little lower then. Oh, I flinched that. Number 20. Getting toasty. Twenty straight rounds, weight of the ramrod. for the walk of shame. <laughs> Let's see what we did. So for one point, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Now, what is the consensus on this guy? Did that break? Okay, so five outside, six, uh, so one, two, three, No bulls, but uh, actually for, for the 55 caliber bullet, for such a small bullet, that's minute of Queen's enemy all day long. Uh, so that was, for battlefield purposes, uh, more than sufficient accuracy. But mm -hmm. it's not a target round. It's not a target bullet. Yeah. I'm happy. So here's Mason, gonna shoot the Pritchett International. Now Mason, is the twice unbroken champion of the Pour Le Prichet. So no pressure, right? So it's, yeah, it's uh, no pressure at all. There will be no mockery or ridicule if uh, if you don't shoot better than expected. So. <laughs> that beautiful ammunition.
that's outside of the ring. One, two, three, four, five. That might be two. That, I mean, that, I, the, I think that's wanna, two. All right, so, let me start. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is this, I'm going to count this? Mm, no, that's obviously not a round hole. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Seven, eight? Yeah, I think okay. those are two holes. Okay. Do you think those are two holes? Yep. Okay. Do you think this uh, this broke the, the line here? Where the terror goes? Uh, unbiased judge. Marty. Uh, it looks like two shots. It is two shots, but his question is, was so is that inside or outside line. that ring? Did it? Did it? Like outside. I mean, okay. An unbiased judge says outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven Eight. Points. Eight. There's Eight. one up top. That's right. One. Yep. Seven, eight. American public school system, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> one, two, you think that's one or two? I think, I think that's two. Okay, one, two, three, four. Is this two? Yeah, I think I just took some paper with it. One, two, three, four, five. So ten, eighteen, and then two in the bullseye. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Which is... You know, not far off from uh, what I shot. So basically, the the historical context lesson here is that the the 55 inch bullet is not a target bullet. But again, if that was a queen's enemy at 100 yards, you'd have nailed them. Yep. All right, Marty, you're up. And this is with the 568 cartridge, so the, the earlier version of the infield cartridge. Twenty rounds. Uh, how was the ramming? It started getting a little difficult at the end, but it still went smooth. Like there wasn't really any problem. Just started being a little bit more resistant. Yep. I went the five six eight bullet. I'm very interested to see how the five six eight bullet did, which in theory is a more accurate bullet. So let's have a little walk. All right. What do we got? Um. All right. First off, these ones count. Yep. All right. So. Uh, one, two, three, four. That looks like a double. That's the double. So that's five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight, nine. nine. Is that a double? No. Oh, no. Uh, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. 
24. And then you miss two. There's there's this one over here on this side, so 25. And then you miss that one in the kind of up in the corner, so 26. Oh wow. Does that seem right? Excellent. Well, well, when I uh, put it all up uh, for the video, I'll I'll do a good count and uh, put them up on the, on the screen.